the next step that needs to be done is when the members of parliament report to parliament next week, the Gen Z needs to force those members to impeach the president. And any member of parliament who will not vote for impeachment of the president, they occupy their homes. I'm doing fine. Yeah, I've just arrived from my constituency. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. But I feel large because I don't actually vote no. Yes. So you keep it a mahalu ko tu sawa. Mimi na sina waswasi. Uh -huh. Nime kuwa nikifungua shule. Nika salamia wana wana inch mimi ndio na wasalamia. Au uh -huh. <laughs> eh, mimi ndio na wasalamia. Nimekuwa kanisa nimewasalamia. Uh -huh. So I don't know why I'm the only one walking around in, in my constituency and Tanzania. Hakuna uh -huh. mtu mwingine anatembea huko. Uh -huh. eh, Wameogopa. Eh, watu wa Yesu wameogopa. They are not nowhere to be seen. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. So yeah. uh, maybe you can you can tell us mbona ulikomenda kutravel. Yeah, nimeenda kutravel it is my norm every Weekend, I go to my constituency. Mm -hmm. I was open in my school I built mm -hmm. at Kipsagam Primary. I interacted with Wanainchi, um, Gen Z in Kitale uh, are ready for revolution. The young people are ready. Mm -hmm. All over I walk, even in the flight, mm -hmm. all the flight attendants are asking me, Did you vote for years or no before mm -hmm. I come in? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and and Muheshimio, what's your take on uh, the conversation that we had with our president? Uh, two days ago um i don't want to use a bad language mm -hmm. but it it was bullshit because the reason is that uh, he has been lying to people who have not gone to school um there is a generation that bypassed uh, uh, education because of there were no proper structures for education mm -hmm. then there was the kibaki that who introduced free primary education mm -hmm. so now the president is dealing with a generation that is not used to. He has, be, he has lied to hustlers. Most of the hustlers are people who dropped out of school and started doing some menial jobs. But this is a generation of people who are learned, they are professors, they are lawyers. You see some of them are teaching in the universities, some of them are working in the banks. So these are not, the people, they see a lie before it is told. They see a lie from a distance. So he must really change his tact. He's uh, working with a generation that is education, educated. Uh, I really thought that he should not even have done it because they have even learned his more lies. There is nothing else they expect from him. Uh, all those eight proposals he made, that if you talk about uh, public officers, why, why is Mudavai in office today? He's 63 years old. Why is uh, Moses Wetangula planning to open uh, the, the National Assembly uh, when it resumes from recess? He's 67 years old. Why is Njunguna in office? He's 64. Why is uh, Churchill um, um, Chilchil, um, in office? He's 63. Why is um, Justin Muturi in the office? He should start with his cabinet. He should if, uh, show example that any member of cabinet who is above 64, uh, 60 years, he should be out of office. In fact, himself, he should declare that 22, 20, 27, because he'll be 60, he will not be vying. Then people will take him seriously. Yeah, but uh, when you try to do cosmetic surgery, things that are not going to happen, uh, things that the Gen Z knows that you are lying to them, they can see a lie from a distance, he has really made the matters worse. So you're not impressed by the changes he has made? There's nothing to be impressed about. Well, absolutely nothing to be impressed about. Yeah. And Mahishimiwa, yes. talking about the Gen Zs, after the recent concluded uh, protest, we a speculation that was equal to a vote of no confidence to Ruto's government. Do you believe that that's true? What is your take about that? Uh, the world all over, the, the preamble of the constitution, mm -hmm. We, the people, even the United Nations Charter, it starts with we, the people. That means the people carries the sovereign power of a nation. So when the people across the country, uh, all, all towns, including Sugoi, including Eldoret, including Bomet, the president's home turf, it has never happened across the world that even where the president was born, people are on the streets. That is a clear 
vote of no confidence. The, what the president needs to do is to give the country the favor it deserves just to resign. You don't need to take youths round, round corners. You just need to resign. That is a clear vote of no confidence. The next step that needs to be done is when the members of parliament report to parliament next week, the Gen Z needs to force those members to impeach the president. And any member of parliament who will not vote for impeachment of the president, they occupy their homes. That's the only way. This, this war must now turn to the members of parliament and they force them. If I bring a vote of no confidence against the President William Ruto, I expect 349 members of parliament to support me. If they don't support me, then their homes are occupied. They need to force members of parliament to impeach the president. That's what we need to do. We don't need to, to put Gen Z's on the streets to be killed. When we have a national assembly to do what Gen Z are supposed to, to do. The Gen Z's have given us a platform. Now what is remaining is for members of parliament to do the rest. Let us not put our children on the streets to be killed when we have members of parliament who have the responsibility to impeach the president. So, so yes. Mwa, so you in support uh, president should fire some of the cabinet secretaries. They should they are not supposed to be there as we speak right now. He's not going to do anything. So that's what I'm saying what we have requested and there's not we we the president needed to fire them the cabinet immediately. You don't need to think. You don't need to uh, to boot around the bush. The president needed to have fired by now. So I'm saying once the parliament resumes, the president needs to be impeached by parliament. And the Gen Z's have a responsibility to force their members of parliament to impeach. They know how to do it. They have shown us how to do it. They can impress upon the members of parliament to impeach the president. And, yeah. and many would ask, What's next after the, after the impeachment? What will happen next? They impeach the president. The next they impeach the deputy because the deputy is hiding. He's thinking he's a saint. That we want all of them out. So they impeach the president. They impeach the deputy president. Then the speaker, the, the chief justice or the speaker of the senate. They even impeach the wetangula because he's as useless as he looks in his specs. They impeach the, the speaker. They impeach the speaker of the senate. We remain with the Chief Justice to hold for 60 days. 60 days when now we, we have a, a new election. The, the Chief Justice can hold for 60 days pending an election. An election conducted by the UN or election conducted by a crafted IBC to do that election for presidential election. Yes. And do you think the future of the Gen Z is it's already guaranteed because Kumekwana Ayo Maswali? They don't have a leader. How would they be able to come together, maybe uh, put their own person out a, there? A leader will emerge. A, a leader will emerge. Remember, some people have been coming out. I see politicians on the streets trying to pretend that they with the poli uh, with the Gen Zs. Personally, I have not gone on the streets. I don't want to pretend. Yeah, when you failed your work as a member of parliament, why are you pretending to be with them on the streets? Your work is to be in the parliament, you should be protesting inside the parliament, not on the streets. So we don't really see these members of parliament in the streets trying to protest with them. What we need now is now um, the Gen Z's have given us a platform. And the most of these Gen Z's are going, these young people you see, including you people, present yourself to be MCS and MPs. The next election, you are the people who are going to be elected. I can tell you. Don't people are saying the Gen Z's have no voters card? Personally, I was elected at 29 years old. This is my second time as a member of parliament. I was elected by young people. The old people never believed in me. It is the young people who elected me. So people cannot joke about the revolution of the young people. When they decide they'll vote you out, they'll do. When they decide they'll take voters card, they'll do. Even if they don't have voters card, they'll force their parents to vote for you or against you. And, and do you feel maybe most of the, the recent concluded um, protests, were they being funded by maybe some government officials just to taint the image of the peaceful protest? The hooligans were funded by state house, some were funded by, we are told, we hear, uh, by this governor uh, for Nairobi, some by Rigiji. We, we know, we hear, we hear those stories. Some have come up. You've seen the hooligans themselves come in to, de to demand uh, their, their dues after doing havoc. Um, so 
the Gen Z's what they need to do because these hooligans, most of them, they don't use Wi-Fi. Well, they they come from the you know the the, the dark side of our lives. So the Gen Z's need to use internet to coordinate themselves, so that the hooligans will not know where they'll be and what the next course of action they'll do. In fact. We should just be walking up in the morning and fighting Gen Z in the, in the streets. They should not be coordinated. They should not announce their plan. They should just find themselves in the street. And I'm telling them, and I've said it before, revolution does not take a month. The Gen Z's and the use of these people, uh, this country are wasting their time. Revolution does not take one or two weeks. Even in Tunisia, it took just less than a week. The president was out. A revolution that is extended the regime will find a way of crafting measures to make sure that they crack you down. So the Gen Z's are wasting their time. They need to remove Ruto from uh, State House in less than seven days. Beyond there, you'll not remove him and he'll become very vicious and very lethal against you. Sorry. Even even Hitler, Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler was made emboldened by a failed revolution against him. That's why he became emboldened, and that's why he made the destruction he made. Gen Z, if you don't remove Ruto, you will make another Adolf Hitler in this country. So you're suggesting they go back to the streets? They need to go back to the streets. They need to call all of them across the country. They don't need to have patches of people hovering around town. They need to call the Gen Z's in Doret, Gen Z's in Kisumu, Gen Z's in Mombasa, Gen Z's in Nakuru, Gen Z's in Kiambu, in Nyeri. All of them, we are ready to host them. And they come to sit in Nairobi for one week, Ruto will go home. Right. Thank you, Muhesh. Thank you.